As a talented singer, songwriter, model, and actress of Dominican descent, her creative process is more like therapy, where her music is groovy. I'm using Cynthia Hickenbottom's ways, okay? So among all other things, great things that she does. She does within the show business and the media, so much more. She has made TV appearances on many TV shows, such as Marvel's Daredevil and the opening episode of NBC's New Amsterdam. And she's the reason why we're so glad to hear, have her here on the spotlight. So... Please welcome the and, lovely, the and talented... The lo and the lovely, lovely, lovely... Amy! Thank you for coming. So much, you know, because you know, I remember you were per just performed at SOBs not too long yeah, ago, I did. and I was there. And she, let me tell you, <laughs> this is a star right there, a future star. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Because her voice is like, it's just so much, you know, because you, you've done a lot as as like a Latin R and B, and you've done a lot of like uh, released a lot of the singles, like. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the story behind getting those singles out here. Um, so it just came from like personal experience. Yes. Just like I have a really tough dating life, as you can see. Mm. <laughs> from, from, your songs. from my songs. I can yeah. see from your songs. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I just am very transparent about it. I don't hold back. You're making me single um, already because I'm already single since. I mean, I am too, so that's okay. <laughs> it's all good. I, it's, it's, it's all, all right. good. It's you know, all everything good. Everything at a time. But I just feel like um, with yes. music, it's better to be like relatable. And if I'm open about my love life, mm -hmm. I think that it's going to help someone else like not feel as lonely or like just be knowledgeable on like what love is or like it's okay to get hurt sometimes and things like that. So I'm just very open to it. It's been rough, but I make it into this beautiful music. So I'm yes, a, yeah. you do, yeah. And by sharing your story, you're being so open and honest. I mean, that must also be a little scary because it's yeah, it's yeah. hard to be vulnerable sometimes. Mm -hmm. But I feel like because I, you know, in order to do music, you have to be vulnerable and like want to relate to people and share energies and just be real. You know, real stories touch people. So that's just the the main thing for me. Have you ever shared a story and then and been like embarrassed or worried about how the person would react? Because I know you also sing about your exes, like you mentioned your dating life. Um, yeah, there or have was, you had an experience yeah, where they there was there was uh, an occasion, um, but I just took it as like this is my story. You know, you could say your story, your side of your story, but this is mine. So I'm doing this because it's therapeutic to me, and that's okay. Like you, your opinion doesn't really matter at this point. Like, right. this is my story, my life. Um, I'm an artist and I like to be truthful with everything that I do in my art, you know? So it's just better to be authentic. And stylish. Yes. Because yes. I, I, I just want to mention, <laughs> this, this girl here, she's looking lovely today. Don't Thank you agree, you. audience? Thank you so much. Thank like, you. <laughs> the Thank you. Beat. A model as yes. well as an yes. actor yeah. and Actress. a musician. Yes. Yes. So, you know, how do you choose between these three passions? I mean, what are you the most passionate about? That's a tough question because I feel like they all at one point interwine. Mm -hmm. At some point in my career, they're going to like all, you know, I could do a show where I'm singing, I'm modeling, you know. So I really don't have like one that's just like the one, but um, I just, I love all of them. You know, I love to do them in. Like I said, they'll interwine at some point in, in my career. Yes, you said you mentioned that you gave credit when you did when you were part of a Women's History Month exclusive, where you yeah. gave credit to Erica Badu and India Ari as being two of your favorite artists. Yeah. So let me, let me just read this here because when you checked out her single "Lesson Learned," which she's going to be performing later in the show coming up here, yeah. and also yeah. remember here, yeah. but because those are the most recent singles that yes. you dropped in last month in March here. Yes. Basically. And March and January. Yes, basically. Well, 2023. You, yes. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> but, you, but you know, you, you, but it's like, you go, I'm lose, I, how should I rephrase this? I'm trying to <laughs> read this carefully as yeah. like, you try to be, stay true to yourself and choosing to stay encouraged. What other, is there any other 
messages that you want to give that a after releasing those sig singles that you I did. feel like um, you have to have a vision. Mm -hmm. Like, that that's important. Yes. Also, like, staying true to yourself, remaining authentic. Um, using your life into your music is important to relate to other people as well. And, like, have people come to your show and be like, oh, my God, like, I, I didn't know her, but now I do because <laughs> she just told me a story. Um, but I just feel like you just have to stay true to yourself. People mm -hmm. are going to try to change you. Um, so when I started, I just started doing R&B, just solely. Mm -hmm. But once I started to grow into myself and to my truth, I, I just wanted to embrace my heritage as a Dominican woman. Mm -hmm. So I combined both of them. I love for Erica Badu and D.A.R.E., but also like La India and Caliuchis, like these women, you know, they're very powerful. So I don't mix those two worlds together and make something, you know? So that's why I lesson learned and um, remember, so like Latin and like R&B-ish, it just works. We're and we blend it so well together that, like, it just makes sense. You're making us want to ease on down the road right now with yes. these songs. <laughs> 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 but also, aside from that, but you're doing television. Because yes. you appeared in a Marvel series, Daredevil, right. and NBC's New Amsterdam. How did you get involved with those TV shows? So I went to act, um, school, college for acting. Right. I have a degree in acting. Um, and she had a college. I got an agent. Mm -hmm. um, that's like the thing to do or like a manager for acting. How easy or hard was it to get like a manager for you? It was definitely hard. I was lucky enough that she came to like our, sh our last showcase mm -hmm. and she scouted me out and I was like, okay, so we'll try this. Mm -hmm. And we did and I got Marvel through her and New Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. and it was pretty cool. I'm still signed, obviously. I just did a show in Philly like a month ago, which comes out this fall, I believe. Ooh. So yeah, I mean, I'm still working at it. I'm signed. I still get auditions. I still audition like every week. Um, but. It's also about, you know, your time and your pace, so. Yes, and you also, is it, here's an interesting fact, because I've also read this that really just got me, and it's like, because you, Amy, were like one in 10 women who suffer from endometriosis, if I said that correctly. Yes, yes. Because I, I read, did a little research about it, because it affects roughly 10% or like 190 million people of reproductive age women like around your age basically yes. so like when you went through that what was going through your mind after um i was 20 years old mm -hmm. so i'm 28 well in a couple months so eight years now going through this um when i first started i just started like just like a pain mm -hmm. on my like it, abdominal mm -hmm. i thought it was just like i hurt myself in the gym because i go to the gym all the time ah. um and then i went to the hospital they weren't telling me anything long story short like i had my regular gyn that i went to mm -hmm. he really didn't know about it um it took like a couple visits a couple doctors for them to tell me that i had endometriosis it's just basically the um your uterus is like flipped um, so it causes like, right. you know, you're an imbalance in a woman's um, hormones and like your period and things like that. So it's just very, very painful. Yes. And in the long run, like you think about like, kids because that's also like a thing that may not be able to happen. So it's just mm -hmm. something you like, you may not want kids at the moment, but down the line you do, you know, it's something you just think about all the time. So it could be very negative, very positive. But I always try to shed light every March because it's mm -hmm. Endometriosis Osis Awareness Month as well. I do yes. a live with one of my mom's friends. Her name's Caroline. Um, next year, we're probably going to do it in person, do like a women's convention. But it's tough. It's a tough um, disease. And mm -hmm. it's sometimes hard to get out of bed. But I try to make you know, it positive And you know, I've lived with it for so long. So mm -hmm. why not just try to you know, connect with other women that suffer with that or shed light on women that don't know that they may have it. So I think it's been tough, but but it's important. And have you put that into any of your music or songs? Not yet, it's but I, I do plan to. Yeah, maybe down the line I would do plan to for sure. Yes. Yeah. Well, what's, I look forward to hearing this music that you have coming up. I, I'm just I'm just, I'm trying not to get distracted. You came by to he came to one of my shows. Yes. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, so excited. He's, he's, he's being a fan or a stan, as the kids yes. say. He's standing out over yeah, there. But, but at the same he's, time, you have another show coming up. It's right. I do, yeah. Tell us about that. Yeah, May 7th, I'm at Berlin Underground mm -hmm. for, um, yeah, it's just one of Breaking Sound. They, they're they mm -hmm. like a major stage, but like similar. They're like a company. They just, you know, put on a show and for underground artists coming up. Wow. Yeah. 
So you could buy tickets right now in my bio. And I don't think she'll be underground for much longer because her star is rising. <laughs> Thank yes. you. And Thank you. I appreciate is, that. And, and videos I, are incredible. And I just can't get enough of her outfit. The red dress, Thank the, you. those shoes. Thank you. You know, I, it's like, you got it all good. We just can't wait to hear your performance. Yes. So let's, without further ado, stay right where you are because Amy is about to do her thing by performing a couple of her singles, which is Lesson Learned and Remember. Yes, out now on all streaming platforms. There you go. Don't miss it. We'll be right back, y'all. Thank you.